Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about social media and healthcare professionals. I am Dr. Suresh Badanmat, Professor of Psychiatry, working at Nimans Bangalore. In this video, I will be discussing about social media from the perspective of healthcare professionals. What are the risks and benefits of using social media by the healthcare professionals? How to keep medical ethics at the highest standard when using social media? What are the do's and don'ts of social media by the healthcare professionals? And finally, the recommendations. Let's understand what is social media. Social media is any digital technology that allows users to instantly generate and share the information with the public. Social media refers to the internet, networking sites and applications designed for people to create, share and effectively post information in real time. It is designed to facilitate socialization between users. Actually, social media is transforming personal life and also the professional lives. Social media is used ubiquitously at this point of time. It is used for self-promotion and also professional promotion. But however, one need to be very careful when you are using social media for professional promotion. However, the main reason for social media at this point of time is networking. Networking with various stakeholders in healthcare plays a very crucial role. For example, networking between doctors and patients for health education purpose. At the same time, networking between doctors for educational purpose, academic purpose and research purpose. At the same time, the healthcare industry wants to discuss about the patient issues. Again, social media plays a very important role. In a nutshell, social media is a networking platform or maybe a digital platform where the public creates the content and shares among themselves. Here the content may be in the form of audio, maybe a video, maybe even a photographs which are shared across people. Let's understand what are the benefits and risks of using social media by the healthcare professionals. The benefits are innumerous but at the same time risks also are huge. First and the foremost is public education. In the during the times of COVID you have seen the health education became an important issue when COVID related information need to be disseminated. Hence the social media was used ubiquitously to educate people about COVID. At the same time the people came to know about COVID and also the doctors and other healthcare professionals. Professional development occurred during COVID by using social media. Peer networking occurred personal branding, research, use of telemedicine became popular through social media and webinars, educations were conducted almost every day, employment related issues with regard to social media, networking for the purpose of job and also disseminating free information, social media plays a crucial role. What are the risks? Although health education occurs, at the same time, there are public menace people. There are certain people who would like to spread rumors. So misinformation spreads very fast. There are studies which clearly said that the misinformation, rumors spread 10 times faster than the truth. At the same time, when we are using social media, in healthcare professional, we need to be very very careful with regard to confidentiality of the patient related information. Not only that, the data privacy, the information, the data stored need to be highly private. Only the authorized person should be able to access that. And similarly, in social media, opinions are given, opinions are shared without even examining the patient. At the same time, the doctors and the healthcare professionals need to refrain giving opinion online, especially on social media. Using advertisement, that is, social media should not be used for advertising for professional 
work. That should be very clear and should avoid that. Making comments on third parties with regard to their illness, their health, their wellness on social media should be avoided. Further, the social media has become so rampant, there is copyright violation are becoming common. People, need, people take information from one person and post it that they are saying it. That means there is a high copyright infringement are occurring. Not only that, because of the social media, the boundaries are blurring. The relationship between the patient and doctors are is blurring. At the same time, relationship between the doctor and the medical industry, device industry, pharmacy industry is blurring. That means there is a severe risk also involved using shows social media. Now let's understand certain cases. Doctor license was suspended for posting patient images. Here, a doctor who is a plastic surgeon who is licensed was suspended when he started sharing patient's information online. Although the patient's identifiable information was not there, the patients were able to understand, yes, these are my images. Hence, the doctor's license to practice was revoked in Canada. Further, Florida nurse was fired for posting child's photo. One of the nurse who was working late night and her day was well, at the same time duty was going very well. Immediately, there was a note, a posting occurred on social media. She wrote, my night was going great, then boom. She wrote and also posted a picture of a child and the child had a malformation. She wrote on the social media, your, your intestines post that should be inside you baby. Although this was more of educative purpose that was taken very seriously because HIPAA compliance or HIPAA violation occurred. Here the child's photo was posted online, hence her license to practice was revoked. Further education and privacy. Here again a Texas nurse working in the ICU came across a child who had measles. Again the nurse made comment about the parents for not vaccinating the child. This did not go well with the local public and the hospital took a strict action against the nurse for breaking the rules and the code of conduct of being a nurse and making comment about the patient and their family members on social media was considered derogatory. Poor medical care for a family member. Here again, one of the nurse was so angry her grandfather was not treated well in an hospital. She took this issue to the social media without talking to the higher authorities. And this again did not go well with the hospital authorities. Hence, there was a litigation which revolved around the license and the license to practice of this nurse was revoked. Now let's look into the various medical ethical principles when you are using social media. As you know in the real world, that is in person, when you are discussing with the patient, there are certain important medical ethics we are, we are supposed to follow. Under no circumstances we can compromise these ethics such as respect for autonomy. The patient has the right to refuse or choose their treatment. That is one. Beneficiency. A practitioner should act in the best interest of the patient. That means the doctor should always think to benefit of the patient. Non-maleficiency. Here, the doctor should not do no harm. That means if you are not able to do good, don't do harm is the principle. Justice. Here, the distribution of the scale resources in the interest of the community and the justice of the community should be considered to use this care resources. And finally, the informed consent, privacy and confidentiality plays a crucial role. Although these medical ethics are very important in the real world, but now they need to be applied even in the virtual world. Let's look into important aspects. These are the ethical principles 
and these ethical principles becomes important in virtual world. They are confidentiality, data privacy, trustworthy of information which is posted online, whether it is a misinformation, is it a rumor or is it a trustworthy information and finally the patient privacy need to be kept high when you are interacting in social media with others. Let's look into those important ethical principles while using social media. First and the foremost, autonomy and non-maleficiency. Here, when you are using social media by a healthcare professional, you need to be cognizant and also to maintain patient privacy and confidentiality at the highest standard. You need to follow ethical guidelines similar to in person or else in the real world the same ethical standards also will apply during social media interaction hence confidentiality privacy and informed consent need to be taken when you are interacting in social media if you are revealing the information on social media non-maleficiency to use privacy setting to safeguard personal information at the same time information of the patient and also make sure those if there is any change in the privacy setting of the social media you, you need to uphold the privacy of the patient patient family members because once it is outside that is in the internet and if there is a change in the privacy privacy setting of a social media you need to update yourself that means the responsibility is also on the doctor if you are using social media make sure that you are aware of the privacy settings finally the beneficiency and non maleficiency to maintain appropriate boundaries with the patient and the patient family members is a very important step because this internet has blurred the boundaries between the real world and the virtual world here in the virtual world the doctor is available 24 bar 7 patient can approach the doctor anytime at the same time the patient can interact with the doctor the doctor can interact with the patient in a, a secretive manner at the same time sexual boundary violation can occur on social media also non-maleficiency to consider to separate the professional social media account with the personal account and also to keep unprofessional content out of your social media is very essential role that needs to be played by the healthcare professionals beneficiency and non maleficiency to recognize that action online and content post may be have severe consequences hence before posting any information on social media think many times it may harm the patient harm the family members or any others if you are in doubt don't post it to avoid use of social media that distracts during the working hours. Suppose if you are posted in emergency, are in ICU or in OT, please avoid using social media because that will come, come in the way of your functionality. Hence, you need to be very, very careful when you are using social media. And you need to know what are the areas which is going to affect when you are using social media. Here is a healthcare professionals. It will affect the doctor-patient relationship nurse patient relationship hence we have to be very careful when you are using social media the relationship between the patient the ethical standard should be very high with the employee when you are interacting in the social media you are representing an institution hence be careful you should not make any derogatory comment against the organization again against any institution against the sovereignty of any country any religion to any person because you are not just a healthcare professional you are representing a body of professionals and also organizations industry you may be connected to various healthcare industry medical industry pharmacy industry and public at large hence you have to play a crucial role maintaining boundaries with these various stakeholders personal life healthcare professionals also have personal life they have their friends they have their family members relatives hence they need to keep social media account of personal and professional separate peers 
invariably the healthcare professionals learn from their peers because the science and technology is growing very fast need to update themselves hence the peer learning is a very important step in social media and finally the public because you are on social media you will be posting something you are educating public at the same time you may be misinforming the public hence watch you what you post on social media because you are a social media influencer people follow you and you are a healthcare professional hence you need to take complete responsibility of your posting on social media let's understand the various medical guidelines which have been posted with regard to social media there was a study which was published in 2019 by hense and his colleagues they reviewed nine guidelines with regard to social media and medical professionals this is a very important study i request all the followers and subscribers to go through this study this study was titled as social media guidelines a review for health professionals and faculty members and this study gave some important messages and these are the various guidelines which this study did the review it talked about five important themes which came up across all guidelines the five important themes are public trust the healthcare professionals are posting information online hence they need to maintain that public trust at the highest standard hence they need to take complete responsibility and keep the public trust at the highest level data privacy again here the doctors have a huge amount of data with regard to patient healthcare industry and various other information hence the data privacy is the second important theme which came in the analysis confidentiality of the patient at the same time defamation of the colleagues patients patient family members industry medications are the fourth important theme and finally encouragement for using social media has been found in certain guidelines let's look into each one of them as i mentioned five themes accountability and responsibility to maintain public trust warning that expected privacy and anonymity is not guaranteed on social media confidentiality of patient information defamation of patient colleagues and products encouragement and reasons to use social media let's take the first one that is accountability and responsibility to maintain public trust in profession same standards should be used the way you use in the real world being aware once you are posted it is difficult to take back or difficult to control this post identifying your profession is very essential you can go anonymous on social media but if you are discussing about health related issues you need to identify yourself because public trust becomes very important posting only evidence based information is very essential but however remember this although you have taken consent from the patient you need to explain the patient once it is posted in social media it is very difficult to get back that means once it is once it is posted it is not in one server it will go across various accounts various country various places and it may be on mobile phone it may need not be on the server at all hence it is difficult to get back that information need to be told to the patient when you are sharing patient information on social media coming to the second point warning that expected privacy and anonymity is not guaranteed public and post personal social media accounts need to be separated all healthcare professionals the doctors need to separate their professional account from the personal account at the same time intended audience changes in social media for that you need to change the privacy settings in the social media and if there are any changes in the privacy setting of any social media you need to update yourself maintain professional boundaries on social media avoid boundary violation using when you are using social media moving to the third confidentiality of patient information 
inform inform consent must be sought before posting social media information patients information on social media don't post identifiable information of the patient on social media fourth defamation of patients colleagues and products avoid copyright violation declare your conflict of interest on social media be respectful fair accurate and truthful when you are posting information on social media don't do trolling harassing others avoid advertisement on social media finally encouragement and reason to use social media you may use the social media for personal purposes or purposes or else it may be for professional purposes networking educating patient and family members professional development by through peer education research purposes and most of the guidelines have discussed do's and don'ts on social media now let's understand the challenges of using social media first and the foremost the social media can be a place where inappropriate content can be posted by using anonymous account and hence we need to be very careful blurring of boundaries is the second important the relationship between the patient and the doctor the in the real world is blurring at the same time it is occurring very fast on virtual world hence we need to keep the boundaries clear even in virtual world you need to refrain from sharing the patient information online lack of control on social media post is a big challenge for everyone hence there is a need to have a code of conduct the code of conduct which i am discussing here now has been taken from various other medical ethics guideline from various countries it may be gmc it may be from uk it may be from us france canada and various medical associations have come up with social media guidelines for physicians doctors and also cosmetic surgeons first and the foremost courtesy with peers on social media don't harass your colleagues don't damage the reputation of your friends avoid that and if you want to discuss or fight with your friends do in person don't do in social media because it will stay forever adverse advertisement do not use social media for advertising commercial products use social media for education purpose remember and comply with the privacy laws privacy privacy laws may be not only in your state but it may be in the other state and or other countries try to be abide by those rules and regulations of the country where you are residing have a separate account for personal and professional account especially for healthcare professionals when you are interacting on social media use, use caution do not post defamatory words abusive words threatening words either to the patient the patient's family members peers or to anybody on social media be aware of the intellectual property rights copyrights be careful when you use those information which has been copyrighted to somebody else hence make sure when you are posting something and you are taken by somebody else please do acknowledge them give credit to them avoid discrimination either in the real world or even on the virtual world public education should be the goal when you are using social media at the same time conduct proper fact checking before you post certain things you may find certain post very interesting but it may not be the fact hence before you post something verify the facts post research ideas you want to do certain research post those ideas get feedback from various people at the same time you have done a research if it has not gone through the peer review process avoid posting them online without getting the peer review done networking please do use social media for networking with the patient with other professionals other industry for the benefit of the patient only at the same time be aware of the licensing council your medical council do they have come up with various media guideline social guideline please follow them be aware of them be aware of data breach if there is any data breach 
you will be held responsible based upon what type of data you are holding and how much is the breach. At the same time, don't post the protected health information online. Do not pay, post patient's information online. At the same time, don't provide individual medical advice or consultation online in public. Never ever do that. Don't post or repost false or misleading information on social media. Don't engage in harassment. Don't engage in bullying or using intimidating words with others on social media. Don't post sexually explicit material on social media. Maintain appropriate boundaries in social media. Don't engage in social media during working hours. This will come in the way of your functioning and this can be used against you if there is any something goes wrong and it can be considered or it can be considered as a, as a medical negligence for using social media and during working hours and be aware of boundary violations when you are using social media. Now the question comes is, watch what you post. Post will haunt you. There are times you may post something during your graduation or during post graduation. This post can haunt you even after 10 years down the line. Hence, please be aware. There are certain situations when doctors have been held responsible for writing something against certain religion, posting something against certain country, never ever do that. You are a healthcare professional. Avoid hate speech. Avoid writing something against derogatory against certain religion. In the similar to a real world, even in virtual world, maintain your ethical standard to the highest level. And similarly, please avoid making comments which you do not know. There are many doctors, their license have been revoked when they have posted against COVID vaccination. When the country is reeling with the COVID and the government has taken certain decision. You may or may not like the decision. If you don't like the decision, don't post anything on social media. Many doctors, their license have been revoked writing against COVID vaccine during COVID. Similarly, the three nurses were sued for commenting something which they were not supposed to do on social media. To conclude, my dear friends, the healthcare professional need to keep the confidentiality of the patient very high, both in real world and virtual world. The healthcare professional need to know about the privacy setting of the social media. And this media, social media can change their privacy setting depending upon the local laws. Hence, you need to aware and update yourself. Avoid making comments on your friends, colleagues, and also on religious issue, political issues, geopolitical issues, and you have to be very careful. You are healthcare professionals. Avoid being anonymous on social media. If you are making comments with regard to health related matters, please identify yourself and say I am so and so on social media. Maintain appropriate patient and doctor relationship. Do not violate boundaries. Provide accurate and truthful information on social media. Act with mutual respect with your colleagues and peers. Declare conflict of interest on social media and as far as possible maintain your personal social media account and professional media account separate. Thank you very much for your valuable time. Please remember what, up, what appears on social media remains even if the person has deleted that post. So be clear about this. Although your conduct on real life is very important, your conduct in virtual world also plays a very crucial role. I see you.